Looking forward in three years, five years, so internet took 20 years. This is the fuel. I think this will accelerate to less than five years. So bringing cryptocurrency, information and education to the masses, now that's something that you're extremely passionate about. Can we tell our viewers some of the work that you're doing in this space? Absolutely. Uh, so I got into this space uh, officially about three years ago, but um, my whole vision started 25 years ago when I was at Sun Microsystems, the whole start of the dot-com Java days. So I was a visionary and a disruptor in those days. So I looked at the traditional bricks and mortar business and how to consolidate, cut the middleman out and bring it straight to the consumer, cutting all that middle bit out to bring costs down, efficiency up, productivity up. And um, then I went into real estate investments and I started doing the crowdfunding thing in the early days. And now <clears throat> what we're actually doing is uh, building the whole be your own bank, be your own wealth manager uh, types of uh, initiatives. And just now as a president of uh, Xcoin Futures, we deal in uh, futures and options trading using crypto. So in the old days, people were using fiat currency to uh, buy and sell things in the future from 30 seconds to one minute to one hour, etc. right? And this is where hedging comes in. So we've built a platform that is absolutely secure, stable on an MT4 based uh, infrastructure. And uh, you know, what people in these things talk about, 100,000 transactions a second, we already do it. We've passed our one year, tried, tested, proven. It. And what I like about this is I've always given back. So our whole model across all the businesses is 50% back into the community to get it scaling up as well. And now when we look at where the industry is, and we're at the Malta AIM Blockchain Summit, uh, it's November of 2019. If we look at things moving forward and the industry moving forward, where do you see the industry heading uh, as early as next year? Okay, next year in this industry is uh, too short in my view to think about, but you can. So if you take the parallels from the dot com, it's only 20 years on now where you see majority of the high street uh, bricks and mortar types of businesses who I used to say even in those days, go and change your business model, otherwise you're not going to survive. So the Toys R Us, Woolworth, so many of these have closed down for that reason. So in the blockchain space, what it's disrupting is again, cutting out that middle lever even more. So in the fintech space, what they're trying to do is bring transaction times and costs right down, crunch it down to seconds because people have become impatient. And that's what's changed. now. For, uh, especially the millennials to survive, they uh, have to have virtually two jobs or have something else, otherwise they can't afford to have their own property. So uh, in that productive fast food type of environments, all the way to fast money is how these guys think. So in this space, the innovation actually comes from people like that where they say, you know what, I'm fed up of waiting for my coffee, you know? So why can't I sit here and add my coffee order my coffee sitting here. Actually, a good friend of mine uh, in Zapago is uh, actually doing that app. And then same in the banking. You know, uh, there are so many uh, big organizations like Western Unions, Money Grants, M-Pesa in Kenya, which is where I was born. They charge huge fees. And fees to people generally who I think cannot afford to pay just to send money to their parents, uncles, brothers, sisters back home when they're working like hell in Western countries. So these things are getting disrupted in a big way. And those I think are already happening by next year. You will see a huge growth in that. We are developing uh, something for that as well with our own uh, smart card and I'll show you that. <coughs> with our own smart card and all in one bank, wallet, everything in here. Looking forward in three years, five years, so internet took 20 years, this is the fuel. I think this will accelerate to less than five years. We will see major differences in fintech, real estate, insurance, uh, uh, just general good things back to the community through charities. You will see big changes in healthcare as well. You will see big changes in, even in government procedures. And I hope passport and immigration uh, is one of them where we see that Dubai has already started doing something along those lines. This is certainly a very exciting time. Thank you so much for providing your insights today. Thank you. Well, that's all from us here, but we'd love to see how you envision 2020 and beyond in blockchain and crypto. Share your thoughts in the comments below.